Assalamu alaikum everyone. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Alhamdulillah, we are excited to have you all joining us and encourage you to share with family, friends, neighbors to also tune in through the link celebratemercy.com slash kids. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, and to click that notification button so that you are updated for all of our future programming, inshallah. Today is day five of the Hijjah and the kids program, and we have an awesome time planned for you today. As you know by now, these programs do take a lot of energy and time, and we want to make a special du'a for our sister Danielle, who made these awesome slides and is helping out today with the chat. But we also want to thank today's webinar sponsor. So it is a du'a, which means I want you to say ameen with me, okay? Oh Allah, grant me and my family the best of this world and the best of the hereafter. Ameen. Protect my children, fill their hearts with iman, and surround them with righteous friends. Ameen. Bless my work and make it a sadaqa jariya for me. Ameen. And put extra barakah in the work Celebrate Mercy is doing. Allahumma ameen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this super sponsorship a sadaqa jariya to you and your family. And may you be rewarded immensely for the support that you show Celebrate Mercy and its efforts. Ameen. Alhamdulillah. Now, before we get to the program, we want to remind you that you can become a webinar sponsor too. Um, if you have your parents, your aunts, or your uncles, or your older cousins in the room with you, please encourage them. Adults, if you are also watching, please make sure to email sponsor at celibatemercy.com so that you can sponsor in these remaining. We have four more um, kids programs coming up, but we have a couple more evening programs as well through Celebrate Mercy in these days of Dhul Hijjah. So we do encourage you to reach out and to sponsor, inshallah. You could win an Umrah trip. How amazing was that? That was that video recording was taken during Juma during an Umrah trip that Celebrate Mercy just recently went on. And hearing the Adhan while sitting in front of the Kaaba, how beautiful is that? It could be you. It could be you. So if you want to be entered into that Umrah raffle, send us pictures of you watching the webinar with the webinar in the background. You could also complete your worksheets. There is a worksheet book that accompanies these kids sessions on our website. You can go to celebratemercy.com slash kids to download the worksheet and the workbook. You should be following us with day five workbook right now. And you could also Send us your Dhul Hijjah decorations. If you are decorating for Dhul Hijjah, for Eid al-Adha coming up, make sure to send those pictures in. You can email them at kids at celebratemercy.com and we can always, and we will be entering you into a raffle so that one lucky winner gets to go to Umrah completely for free. Now, just another brief reminder, we are a bit busy and we are receiving your emails and we promise to respond to you as soon as possible, but most likely after Eid because we want to dedicate ourselves to Ibadah in these days of Dhul Hijjah and to celebrate with our family and friends, inshallah. So if you have emailed us and reached out to us, we will definitely get back to you soon, inshallah. Oh my gosh, we have some photos already coming in of people with their Dhul Hijjah decorations, watching the webinar. Oh my gosh, more rapidly. Ooh, they have a thawa, like the Hajj Kaaban doing Tawaf at their gym. Oh, watching the webinar. There's are such great, great pictures. Thank you for sending them in. All of these photos will be entered into the raffle and you could also get your spot. Remember, watching the webinar completing your workbook and sending us pictures of that and even sending us your uh, little hijja decorations at home. Alhamdulillah. Now, we also have a brand new contest, a brand new contest, okay? Which means that you can find these directions on page four of your packet, but here's a little brief snapshot of what you could be doing. You could be a winner and it's really, really easy. All you have to do is brainstorm your goals. There's some ideas on page five of the packet. And today through the eighth, 
So today, July 4th through Thursday, July 8th, you need you can prepare a video one minute or less where you explain about choosing one goal for the Hijjah, your progress, what will you keep, what might you change, and how will you adapt your goals during uh, uh, until Eid, inshallah. If you send us that video one minute or less, you'll be entered into a contest where you can win a prize. These are cash prizes. There are gift cards where you actually get money. So you could be, uh, third place is a dollar, a hundred, well, not a dollar, a hundred dollars. Second place is two hundred dollars. And third, uh, uh, first place is three hundred dollars. And there's three groups. You could be in the age 67 group, the age eight to nine group, or age the 10 to 11 group. So make sure you send those videos in starting today through Thursday, and we'll definitely enter you into this raffle so that you could be winning some dollars. Ooh, Sister Danielle put some awesome animations on here. Oops, look, those those happy smiley faces with the dollar signs. It's so cute. Okay, so yes, the theme is be your best. To be eligible for the contest, again, email your uh, video after day five and before day eight. So you can send it via kids at celebratemercy.com. Next, Ooh, we had the trivia from yesterday, right? So there were nine winners yesterday who all received sandal pins. You will be getting them in the mail shortly. Celebrate Mercy will be in contact to figure out your addresses. But those nine individuals were entered into a raffle, a wheel of raffle, where one of those lucky nine winners is actually also going to win this awesome, huge $600 wooden sandal, right? So these day four winners from yesterday for questions one are listed here, one, two, and three. There were three winners each. If you see your name on this screen and you haven't been contacted by Celebrate Mercy yet, please email us at kids at celebratemercy.com so that we can get back to you and get you set up to receive your prizes. And now we are going to do a wheel of raffle to see who the wooden sandal winner is. Sister Danielle, do we bring up the raffle? Oh, I can click on it. Ooh, nice. Ooh, nope. Give me one moment. <laughs> there it is. Ooh, awesome. Okay, Sister Danielle, press go. Drum roll. And the winner is El Bashir Kasmi. I don't know if that's the father's name or the, the student's name, but El Bashir Kasmi, congratulations. You just won a $600 wooden sandal. That's amazing. So remember, email us at kids at celebratemercy.com and we'll get right to you to get your address so we can make sure to ship that wooden sandal right to you, inshallah. Your parents are gonna be so happy. I'd say keep the decoration in your room, but it's really up to you where you want to put it, right? Next, we have the trivia for today. Um, remember, you we want you to add in your best answer for, um, for this trivia, right? So as we are asking the questions, there will be three winners for each question, and each winner will win a sandal pin, right? And again, just like we did the raffle today for the wooden sandal, the nine winners for each of the three questions total are going to be put in a raffle for tomorrow. Remember to type in your answer just one time because we want to make sure that everyone has a fair shot. So put in your best answers and let's get ready to roll. Bismillah. Question one. What are the names of the two mountains that Hajar alayhi salam, uh, ran to and from looking for water? Dun 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 dun. What are our answers? Yes, Naj Ama, Safa and Marwa, Complex Cuber, Safa and Marwa, Zahra Jabari, Safa and Marwa, Ali Wardak, Safa and Marwa. Good job, kid. That's awesome. You are on it. Mashallah, Mashallah. That's awesome. Okay, next we're gonna have 
two. Trivia question two. The pilgrimage during Dhul Hijjah is called Hajj. What is a trip to Mecca called if you go any other time? Dun 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 dun. What are your answers? What are your answers? What are your answers? Color Me Muslim says Hajj. Mm, but we already know that Zul has just called Hajj. Good job, Alpha Ego. Well, mm, almost there. Umma means there you go. Muhammad Maz Kanani, Umrah. Mashallah. I believe the last one was a typo, so we can give you that answer. Ahlam Bedru, Umrah. Khadija Muhammad, Umrah. Yes, congratulations. Mashallah, you guys are on it that's awesome so actually if you look in your workbook you will find this photo in your workbook where you can actually color it in and let us know exact and let us and use different colors and color the land color the rivers and the oceans and let us know where they are i mean you can color all of that so um well, okay, there's no map in the workbook. That's completely okay. But there are other photos in the workbook that you can color in and let us and show us what you're doing. And remember to send those photos in so you could be entered into the answer Umrah raffle. Okay, next, 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 next trivial question. Question three, the, her, the word Hajj refers to the pilgrimage. What is another meaning of the word Hajj? It was a theme of day one of this program. If you guys have your workbooks, this might be really easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What is another meaning of the word hajj? Noor nada, intention, mashallah. That's perfect. That's a correct answer as well. Intention, intention, Nia. Intention Nia, mashallah, you guys are on a roll. I feel like you guys get smarter each time I come on this. And look, Sister Danielle used this awesome phone photo of the Kaaba on the phone coming out of it, but you know why she did that? I think I know why. It's because you can join in and watch people performing Hajj all the way from here. You can log on, look up Hajj Live on YouTube, and you can actually watch people performing Hajj, and you can see exactly what's going on and how it is and hear the, the recitations, the adhan, and it's so beautiful. So if you have time later today or later this week, make sure to join in so that you can also see how it's happening so that when you go and when you win that Umrah trip, you could also have some little practice, inshallah. All right, now we're actually going to dive right into a little mini, oh, dive right into our lesson. Our lesson is for today is Zamzam, right? And it's going to be a wonderful, refreshing session. And we're going to learn about what this is, where it came from, and what it means for us. But before we dive into the lesson, I actually want to invite this awesome Nasheed artist, Sidi Moaz Naz, to kick us off with a fun song. Okay? So Sidi Moaz is a... Um, is a Nasheed artist of Syrian descent and was born in Saudi Arabia. He studied so many styles of Islamic poetry and songs from famous singers all the way in Syria, and he even plays a mean drum. Sidi Moaz has performed in many places in the United States and the United Kingdom, and we're so lucky to have him with us today. Sidi Moaz, let's have some fun, inshallah. You're ready to be brought up on stage. Bismillah. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you for having me. Alhamdulillah, we're so excited. I get so excited. I'm so excited um, to see what you will be singing with us today. Yeah, look at the children. They're already so excited. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Yes. So, bismillah. Bismillah. Ya tayba, ya tayba, ya da wal ayyana astigna lik. Wilhawa nadana, Wilhawa nadana, Ya Taiba, Ya Taiba, Ya Dawal, Ayana, Stigna Lake, Wilhawa nadana, Wilhawa nadana. Nabina, Udika, Salati, 
حبي أشواقي حبي مع سلامي اشفع لي يا طه اتهامي عند من سماك الحبيب سماك الحبيب يا طيبة يا طيبة يا دوى العيانة اشتقنا لك والهوى نادانا والهوى نادانا سيدي الحسن وال حسيني للنبي قرة للعين سيدي الحسن والحسين للنبي قرة للعين يا شباب الجنتين جدكم شراف الأكوانا شراف الأكوانا يا طيبة يا طيبة يا دوى العيانة شقنا لك والهوى نادانا والهوى نادانا روح يا رسولي إليهم سرعا وقابلنا عليهم واقرأ سلامي عليهم لعلهم يقبلوني لعلهم يقبلوني جاني البشر وهو يضحك وقال ابشر بصلحك وحق عيشك وملحك قم بالوصال وعدوني قم بالوصال وعدوني الله 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 ربي عوني وحسبي جزاكم الله خيرا والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Walaikum assalam, mashallah, Sidi Mu'az, that was beautiful. Every time we hear you and we listen to you, it's amazing. Look at these children, they're all the same, beautiful, mashallah, mashallah. I hope you all sang along, ya taiba, right? So I hope you all sang along and inshallah we'll have Sidi Mu'az joining us in a little bit again to do round two. Inshallah. Right? Khairan. Well, yeah. Hi, everyone. So while we are just a few quick minutes before we dive in and go into our main lesson, but I want to highlight these amazing, amazing pictures of children with their (laughs) decorations and watching the webinar, right? Um, I think this one, a, a little kid has a webinar. Oh, wow. Okay. So thank you, Sister Danielle. There's, um, again, we just want to highlight all of these photos. I missed a couple in the very beginning when I showed them. So you want to make sure that all of the children have a chance to be seen. All of these individuals um, are sending in pictures with their, with watching the webinar as friends with their family. These children are doing tawaf, practicing tawaf at their gymnasium, more children watching the webinar. And all of these individuals are actually going to be entered into a raffle. They're going to be entered into the raffle to win an Umrah contest, inshallah. Right, so more people doing decorations. You have all the way until the end of this week, until the end of this week, until our final session. Aww. That's awesome. Until the end of this week, our final session today is day five. We have just four more sessions after today. So make sure to send those pictures in and those photos in so that you could be entered into a raffle. Now, while just while we have you, while I have you on with me, I want you to type into the comments. 
right? We're halfway through the program. What was your favorite favorite program so far? And what was a lesson that you learned so far that you know you will remember for the rest of your life? Inshallah, you remember everything. But what is one that really stuck with you over these past few days um, during the Hijja, the kids program? Let us know in the chat so that we can share them, inshallah. Bismillah, let's see. Oh, mashallah, Sister Maryam, you want to go to Medina? Yes, we all do. Medina is the home of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and it's so, so beautiful. And I went when I was very, very young. So may Allah return me there soon. Bismillah. Okay. Intention. That is a beautiful, beautiful lesson. Yes. Intention is actually one of the biggest things that we must remember being Muslim, right? Every good thing that we do, everything that we do, making sure that we, it's a part of planning, making sure that we're planning out what we're doing, what is the good and hoping for good in everything that we do. Good job. Let's see the nishids and the poems. Yes. Mashallah, Sister Sarah. Inshallah, everyone remembers the nishids and the poems because you know, when other people are singing all these songs, if we sing the she's and poems, we're doing a sort of ibadah, but we're also enjoying our time. So making sure that you're learning the nishis and the poems and the meaning of those words will always, always help you, inshallah. Let's see. They love the dinosaur story, the friends and the dinosaurs, and making sure that you are not letting any of your friends feel like they're going to be alone on the playground. Oh, mashallah, brother Ali. Okay. This is my second time on. You were you all were very nice to me that first time. I was sick. I'm recovering. But alhamdulillah, please make dua for me and the Celebrate Mercy team. They've been doing such a great, great job. With Sister Maryam, Amr, and the one about Tawaf. Yes, Sister Maryam. Ustada Maryam is phenomenal. So I'm glad that you learned so much. And you can practice doing Tawaf at home. Even if you're all you're doing is putting a little cube on a chair and try to practice it at home. So inshallah, if you get entered into the raffle, Brother Ahmed, you will be able to know what to do. Being kind to everyone. Yes, yes, that's so, so, so important. You must being kind is just being a good human being. Right? Being a good Muslim, but also being a good human being. That's a very, very good lesson. My sister said to love. Yes, mashallah, Sister Aisha. All of the lessons. Thank you, Sister Sumara. <laughs> oh, let's see. My mom literally lures us to do chores for this because we love this program so much. Mashallah. Ayana, Jazakumallah, Karen, for sharing that little tidbit. That was beautiful. Sheikha Aisha about the song about Hajj. MashaAllah, that is a beautiful, beautiful song. Let's see, there's another one here. Um, <laughs> every single lesson. We always have to listen to Allah, whatever he says, from Zahra, six years old. MashaAllah, may Allah increase you and make you one of the best human beings in our deen. Ameen. Any of the programs of Sidi Muaz is my favorite, says Sister Layla. Layla. We'll try to bring this back up for Sidi Muaz later, inshallah. Mashallah, that was beautiful. Day four, that our hearts are all connected. Yes, yes, they are all connected and making sure that we continue to replenish our hearts with only the good and removing all the bad so, so that our heart can continue to flourish and bloom, right? Um, <laughs> Nishis and poems and you and Tawaf, mashallah. It's only my second time. So we need to bring back Sister Matahara and us together so that we can all talk to you and hear all of your sweet, kind words, mashallah. Oh, we also have one with Baraka Blue, mashallah. Thank you so much for bringing that up. I also want to remind everyone one more time about... Give me one second. Give me one moment. Just looking at your all of your comments. You have so much to share, mashallah. So today's lesson is Zamzam. Refreshing. Let's all dive into the lesson together. Does anyone know what this is? Does anyone know what this is? <laughs> yes, yes, water. 
So this is a special kind of water that we're going to talk about today. Give me one second. I'll be right back. Okay. All right, so we're, we're back. Sister Danielle, you went ahead, you went ahead. Okay, Bismillah, we have some amazing, amazing, smart, smart children. Yes, it is the never ending water called Zamzam. Now, you will have all the information in your packets, but what is Zamzam? What is Zamzam? Yes, it is a special water, and who knows how Zamzam was found? Who knows how Zamzam was found? I'm trying to see how smart you guys are. So Zamzam is very, very, very important during Hajj, during Umrah, whenever you're performing all of the different acts during Umrah and during Hajj, you must drink as much, as much water as you can when you are, after you finish the Wolf and after you go between Safa and Marwa, the two mountains, right? So who found, who found Zamzam water? Who found Zamzam water? Who found Zamzam water? Let's see your answers. Let's see your answers. Yes, where are you? Okay, yes. So Hajar <laughs> ran between Safa and Marwa because her son, her son, her baby, baby son was crying and crying and crying and crying in the middle of the desert, was crying so, so much to be replenished. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, out of the water at the baby's feet was literally a sprout of a fountain. And that is where the pure, pure, pure water came from. And to this day, it is water that is still coming out of that fountain and it is a never ending fountain. Yes, mashallah, you guys are on it. It is a never ending fountain. And it's about when, yep, when she went back and forth looking through. Yep, exactly. Went back and forth. <laughs> mashallah, Prophet Ismail was crying and wailing with his feet, lifting and hitting the ground. You guys have such beautiful details, mashallah. Yes, exactly, exactly. All of you guys have such beautiful answers. And this water is so, so important and is so beloved. And if you actually think about it, people who go to Hajj and who go to Umrah, they're bringing home a little bit of that Zamzam water, which is known to treat and relieve all sorts of aches and is the most refreshing, refreshing water. Even when you take a sip, you go, on the hottest or the coldest day, you just feel so refreshed taking that water. It is so, so beautiful and so refreshing, mashallah. <laughs> now, a question is, what can you do? What can you do to follow our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? What is it that you can do to follow in the footsteps of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? By following his sunnah and exemplifying his sirah, right? But a lot of us usually just read, right? We read and say, oh, our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was perfect. Um, we, he was the best of human beings, the best of characters, right? But sometimes, do we know what that means? What are some actions and things that you can do 
to follow the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. You can drink zam zam. Yes, yes, exactly. You can drink zam zam. Um, you can always what else? Do all the sunnah duas. Yes, exactly. We have our fard duas, but you can also do the sunnah duas. What else? You can, <gasps> mashallah, Sister Fauzia, may Allah accept this hajj from him and allow him to return home safely to you. And all that zamzam water when you're drinking it and you're feeling refreshed, please think of all of us that celebrate mercy and everyone who's joining on here. Make dua for everyone, okay? That's beautiful. Praying on time. Yes, that is so important. What else can you do? Completing your prayers. Yes. Even if it's, some people think, oh, five times praying is so much. It's really not. It's just a couple of minutes. If you can do that and you can hear the azan, if you can have it playing loudly in your household and make sure that you go out and you make sure to pray on time, that will be a reward to you. Being kind to everyone. Yes, Sister Khadija, Jazakallah khair for sharing that. That is so important. What else? Always be follow in his footsteps, always be kind and to remember Allah. Yes, these are such beautiful comments. We have also to do charity, to pray, to read Quran, right? <laughs> in other words, become a hafiz. Yes, inshallah. May Allah make all of you little ones, little brothers and little sisters, hafiz and hafizas, inshallah right drink water while sitting down that's actually very very important especially with any type of drink but now with zamzam water you want to make sure that you're giving it the utmost respect sit down face towards the kaaba and drink the water so that you get the most of its rewards right uh sleeping on your right fasting on the day of arafah oh that's a good question brother musa when you are asked, what is it that you want to do during Dhul Hijjah? When you are trying to think of those ideas for the video, ooh, I, I, I might be giving away a secret. It could be fasting during Dhul Hijjah. If you can all make a video around that and what you are going to do and what it means to fast during Dhul Hijjah, that could be a winner. That could be a game changer. So go and make those videos immediately after this session, inshallah. Smile, sleep on your right. What else? What else? Praying in the night, making du'as on the day of Arafah. Yes, all of them are beautiful, beautiful lessons, mashallah. Now, I actually want to take a look at your workbook. If you go into your workbook, pages 15 and 16. Sister Danielle, do you have the slides for that? Yes. So if you go into your workbook, slides 15, uh, pages 15 and 16, day five, I hope you all printed out the workbooks. If you haven't, make sure to go do that now. You can do it at celebratemercy.com slash kids so that you can all participate. But here you can also see the lessons around Zamzam, right? So after you finish the off, you drink as much Zamzam water as you can. And then you pray two rakahs to follow the sunnah of our beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In the box below, draw at least five other sunnah acts that you know how to do in your everyday life. After you draw them, make sure to take a picture of the drawing with you in it and send it in to be entered into the raffle, right? So the way the Muslims do hajj and is full of sunnah acts that copy what our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, uh, did in his farewell pilgrimage that he completed in the year that he passed away. In each of the brainstorm boxes below, think about all the things you've ever learned about hajj, either during these lessons or from your parents or from the masjid or from shows that you've watched islamic shows or movies that you've watched and write all those lessons down so that you can remember them for the future inshallah and now before we end the session i want to bring back our awesome our awesome awesome nasheed artist so make sure so let's see if we can bring our awesome Nishid artist back so that we can have him on screen and to do another beautiful Nishid for us. Are you ready? Ready, inshallah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Raqqat aina ya shawqan wa li tayba tadara fata'ishqan fa'ataytu ila habibi فهدأ يا قلب ورفقا صلي على محمد 
السلام عليك يا يا رسول الله السلام عليك يا حبيبي يا نبي الله السلام عليك يا يا رسول الله السلام عليك يا حبيبي يا نبي الله يا رسول الله قلب بالحق تعلق وبغار حراء تألق يبكي يسأل خالقه فأتاه الوحي وأشرق اقرأ اقرأ يا محمد السلام عليك يا يا رسول الله السلام عليك يا حبيبي يا نبي الله السلام عليك يا يا رسول الله السلام عليك يا حبيبي يا نبي الله يا رسول الله يا طيبة جئت كصابا لرسول الله محبا بالروضة سكنت روحي وجوار الهدي محمد يا طيبة جئت كصابا لرسول الله محبا بالروضة سكنت روحي وجوار الهدي محمد السلام عليك يا يا رسول الله السلام عليك يا حبيبي يا نبي الله يا رسول الله يا نبي سلام عليك يا رسول سلام عليك يا حبيب سلام عليك صلوات الله عليك يا نبي سلام عليك يا رسول سلام عليك يا حبيب سلام عليك صلوات الله عليك يا حبيبي يا محمد يا عروس القافطين يا مؤيد يا مماجد يا إمام القبلتين من رأى وجهك يا سعد يا كريم الوالدين حوضك صافي المبرد وردنا يوم النشور يا نبي سلام عليك يا رسول سلام عليك يا حبيب سلام عليك صلوات الله عليك أنت شمس أنت بدر أنت نور فوق نوري أنت إكسير وغالي أنت مصباح الصدور يا حبيبي يا محمد يا نبي سلام عليك يا رسول سلام عليك يا حبيب سلام عليك صلوات الله عليك صلوا علي اللهم صلي وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله 
Masha Allah, Masha Allah, Allahu Akbar, Ya Allah, everyone, everyone, children, everyone on this screen, make immense, immense dua for Sidi Mu'az here because he is so phenomenal. These are such amazing, amazing nashis. Jazakumallah khanim for taking the time and doing not one, but two. You gave them two nashis, Masha Allah. They deserve it. Yes, they do. They are such wonderful. They're so much smarter than I am and such wonderful, wonderful students. We are so blessed to have them and you. And inshallah, you'll be joining us again later this week. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, we will find out inshallah. Everyone, cheer him on. If you want him back, let us know so we can let him get him back inshallah. Inshallah. That was awesome, guys. You know, my family, whenever um, we're in the car or we're at home and we're all just sitting around the dinner table or we've just eaten dinner, one of us just starts a nasheed and my siblings and my family members all just start in and just join in singing along because it's just so random and so sporadic. And we're always trying to say our, who has the higher voice, who has the better voice. So we want you all to sing along, try to learn these nasheeds, look them up. You can also look up CD Moaz on YouTube. He has a couple of performances there. So you can always learn along and you will have it all with you. And, and you will be able to memorize the lyrics, not only memorize, you can also find the translations of the lyrics and sometimes some of these nasheeds especially the ya nabi salam alayka is a form of sending salawat so you're getting not only the fun of the nasheed but you're also sending salawat so make sure to do that inshallah one quick note there is actually this masjid not the exact colors but there is a outline of this masjid in the kids packet right in the kids packet you will find it on page 31 and near the end you can color it in and use your own colors here there's the green and the gold and the brown but you can use your own colors and your own ideas you can draw designs on the minars you can draw designs on the domes and you can send those pictures and remember you want to be entered into an umrah raffle right so make sure that you send those pictures of you with the drawings in send those pictures of you watching the webinar in and make sure that you send us your decorations as well and two for one you could color in the uh, decorations cut them out and put them up on your wall for decorations for the hijjah and send us those pictures as well and we will count them as um, entrance into the raffle inshallah now just like any good muslim who has a great program what do we do at the end of an awesome session? Who knows what we do at the end of an awesome session? We make dua. Yes, we make dua. Good job, guys. So what we're going to do, we're going... <laughs> We are, someone said prizes, but inshallah next time. Inshallah next time. There are so many ways to win prizes. So we have that kids contest. Who, does anyone need to hear more about the kids contest or we're good? We're good? We're good. Okay. So we're going to end on this beautiful, beautiful surah, which can also be recited as a dua. Well, all of the Quran can be recited as a dua. So this one is very, very specific because we are spending our time wisely during these months of Dhul Hijjah, learning about what Dhul Hijjah means, what's important for when we're um, completing um, completing Hajj, when you're completing Umrah, and so forth. So all of these lessons and this time that we spent together is a good way to end this session, is to recite Surah Dhul Asr. Right? So let's see. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wal Asr. Inna al-insana lafi khusr. Inna al-lazina amanu wa amilu salihat wa tawasaw bil haq wa tawasaw bil sabr. Right? And for those of you who do not, who had a little bit of a tough time reading along, well, asr means by the passage of time. Surely humanity is in grave loss except those who have faith do good and urge each other to the truth and urge each urge each other to perseverance 
what a beautiful beautiful dua to end with and may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of you and again one final time our webinar sponsor oh allah grant me and my family the best of this world and the best of the hereafter Amin. protect my children fill their hearts with iman and surround them with righteous friends Amin. bless my work and make it a sadaqa jariya for me Amin. and put extra barakah in the work celebrate mercy is doing Amin. One more time, did you like and subscribe? Assalamu alaikum. Make sure to like, subscribe, and to click that button for notifications because we have much more amazing programming coming up to wrap up these last few days of the Hijjah and really dive into some nittier and grittier lessons, inshallah. One more time, we have our Hajj at Home camp. It is This session is called Hajj at Home, um, and we have wonderful speakers. Make sure to send us those pictures so you can win an Umrah trip. And a reminder about tomorrow. Ooh, reminder about tomorrow. One second. Our lesson is, our theme for tomorrow, and our lesson is the Sa'i. All right? Keep that in mind, look them up, find out where it is, so that when you are asked those questions tomorrow, you'll know exactly what to say. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.